In this lesson, we'll be introducing heat energy and talking about what heat is. When we talk about heat, the unique thing about heat energy is that it's a form of energy that we can feel. If you go out in the sun, you feel heat from the sunlight. You hold your hand over a fire, you feel warmth from the fire. But when we talk about heat, we're really talking about the transfer of thermal energy. And thermal energy is just a term given to energy resulting from the movement of molecules in a substance. All matter is made of molecules, and these molecules, even in a solid object that may not look like it's moving, on a microscopic level, the molecules are moving, they're brushing against each other, they're bumping into each other. And as they move together, it creates what we call heat, it raises the temperature of that object. And the faster the molecules move, the more heat they generate. One example of that would be rubbing your hands together. If you rub your hands together a little bit, you feel a little bit of warmth generated from the friction between your hands. The faster you move your hands together, the more friction it creates and the warmer your hands get. We can measure the thermal energy that a substance has, and this measurement we call temperature. And there's a variety of temperature scales that we use. Um, usually in the U.S., if we're cooking or if we're talking about the temperature outdoors, we use the Fahrenheit scale. The Celsius scale is very common for scientific measurements and is used by much of the world. And there's also the Kelvin scale, which is used for very low temperature measurements. When we talk about heat being transferred, the important thing to remember is that heat will always move from a warmer object to a cooler object. And when we talk about warm and cold, that's always kind of a relative thing. Just because something doesn't feel hot, it can still transfer heat. For instance, you take some ice that freezes at zero degrees Celsius. Well, that feels cold to the touch if we put our hand on it. But if you put it in liquid nitrogen that's a couple hundred degrees colder, it's going to be so warm it would actually boil the liquid nitrogen. So whether it feels warm, whether we think it's warm, all objects have a certain amount of thermal energy. And the object with the warmer temperature, the greater thermal energy, will always transfer to the cooler. There's three different ways that heat can transfer, and we'll talk about all of these in detail later in the unit. But the three methods of heat transfer are, first of all, conduction, which is heat transfer between two objects that are in direct contact. Radiation, which is the transfer through space by electromagnetic radiation. And last is convection, which is the transfer of heat in the form of a current, either a current of gas or a current of liquid. Over the next few lessons, we'll be looking in more detail at the methods of heat transfer, as well as other factors that can affect the transfer of heat between different objects and substances.